7.4 Purchasing 7.4.1 Purchasing Process The organization shall ensure that purchased product conforms to specified purchase requirements. The type and extent of control applied to the supplier and the purchased product shall be dependent upon the effect of the purchased product on subsequent product realization or the final product. The organization shall evaluate and select suppliers based on their ability to supply product in accordance with the organization's requirements. Criteria for selection, evaluation and re-evaluation shall be established. Records of the results of evaluations and any necessary actions arising from the evaluation shall be maintained. See 4.2.4. Uh, 7.4.2 Purchasing Information Purchasing information shall describe the product to be purchased, including where appropriate. a. Requirements for approval of product, procedures, processes and equipment. b. Requirements for qualification of personnel. and c. Quality management system requirements. The organization shall ensure the adequacy of specified purchase requirements prior to their communication to the supplier. 7.4.3 Verification of purchased product the organization shall establish and implement the inspection or other activities necessary for um, ensuring that purchased product meets specified purchase requirements. Where the organization or its customer intends to perform verification at the supplier's premises, the organization shall state the intended verification arrangements and method of product re release in the purchasing information. 7.5 7 Product Production and Service Provision 7.5.1 Control of Production and Service Provision The organization shall plan and carry out production and service provision under controlled conditions. Controlled conditions shall include as, as applicable a. The availability of information that describes the characteristics of the product. b. The availability of work instructions as necessary. c. The use of suitable equipment. d. The availability and use of monitoring and measuring equipment. e. The implementation of monitoring and measurement. and f. The implementation of product release, delivery and post-delivery post activities. 7.5.2 Validation of processes for production and service provision. The organization shall validate any processes for production and service provision where the resulting output cannot be verified by subsequent monitoring or measurement and as a consequence deficiencies become apparent only after the product is in use or the service has been delivered. Validation shall demonstrate the ability of these processes to achieve planned results. The organization shall establish arrangements for these processes, including, as applicable, a. Define criteria for review and approval of the processes, b. Approval of equipment and qualification of personnel, c. Use of specific methods and procedures, d. Requirements for records, c. 4.2.4, and e. Revalidation. 7.5.3 Identification and Traceability Where appropriate, the organization shall identify the product by suitable means throughout product realization. The organization shall identify the product st status with respect to monitoring and measurement re requirements throughout product realization. Where traceability is a requirement, the organization shall control the unique identification of the product and mait maintain records. See 4.2.4 Note, in some industry sectors, configuration management is a means by which identification and traceability are maintained. 7.5.4 Customer Property The organization shall exercise care with customer property while it is under the organization's control or being used by the organization. The organization shall identify, verify, protect and safeguard customer property provided for use or incorporation into the product. If any customer property is lost, damaged or otherwise found to be unsuitable for use, the organization shall report this to the customer and maintain records. See 4.2.4. Note, uh, customer property can include intellectual property and personal data. 7.5.5 uh, Preservation of product. The organization shall preserve the product during internal pro uh, processing and delivery to the intended destination. In order to maintain conformity to requirements, and as applicable, preservation shall include identification, handling, packaging, storage and protection. Preservation shall also apply to the constituent parts of a product.